everyone hear me? Okay, great. Thanks so much. So, hello everyone. My name is John Lim. I flew in as uh, introduced all the way from Silicon Valley this week because I wanted to share a little bit about how we view innovation and uh, how we have been impacting the global startup ecosystems and its growth. So to a little bit, uh, explain a little bit about Pegasus, we are a Silicon Valley based but global VC firm and we, that's it. we invest into top technology startup companies from all around the world. But what we're different is there are a lot of investors that invest and then that's it. But we raise capital from large corporations from all around the world and deploy and manage their CVC funds on their behalf. So we invest and then we add on the partnership opportunities with these global corporations to help the startups uh, take their next step of growth. So we, in effect, serve like a bridge uh, between the top technology startups and global corporations all around the world. So high-level stats, we've done investments into more than 160 portfolio companies to date. We have $1.5 billion of asset under management. Uh, supporting all this is 100-plus uh, team members uh, globally uh, dispatched. And thus far, over eight years, we've had 25 IPOs uh, and M&As. Uh, uh, managing right now with the 1.5, we're managing 23 funds uh, and um, have 34 large corporations that are backing our funds. So in, in essence, the idea is that, again, we get the funds from the large corporations, we invest, and on top of mentorship or other um, advice that the typical investors provide, on top of the check, we add, hey, this is a corporate that's interested in you guys. Why don't you talk for business development? Why don't you talk for partnership opportunities? So with that, these are the uh, 34 corporations that have been uh, helping, uh, that we have been helping to uh, impact their innovation and uh, global startup ecosystem growth with these uh, corporate partners uh, helping out and working with the startups. So we have uh, a lot of the uh, corporations in diverse domains, for example, Sega, Sami, and Bandai Namco, they're uh, some of the largest gaming companies uh, from Japan, but at the global scale. Uh, for example, Aishin Group, uh, it is a uh, automotive uh, parts manufacturing tier one company. Their uh, parent company is Toyota Group, so you get the idea. So, um, and then we have Sojitsu, one of the largest uh, trading companies from Japan. They have hundreds of subsidiaries uh, all around the world. Um, so when we find interesting companies uh, in terms of global tech startups, we find them, we uh, talk to them, and then we uh, connect uh, to these corporations uh, as, after investing. And then even here, for example, in Indonesia, we have uh, Kalbi here uh, located, and then we have Asus, Acer, these, some of these uh, largest uh, tech uh, consumer companies. So um, when we make investments, uh, we have been impacting their lives, uh, not just with money, but we introduce these companies uh, and they then form partnership and we have many success cases where uh, we've helped with uh, global expansion, joint development, uh, et, et cetera. So everywhere we go, uh, we try to maintain close network, uh, good relationship with all of the major ecosystem players that includes obviously the government, the media, but uh, of course the incubators, uh, we also maintain good relationship with the universities who then are supporting uh, the companies with a great talent pool. And then we also have uh, co-invested and uh, have great uh, relationships with more than 1,000 uh, investors from all around the world. So every region we replicate this and we're always thinking, how can we also add value to our investments? How can we further help the startups and the growth of the local ecosystem? So 160 portfolio companies that we've invested in, majorly uh, focused in North America, Asia, Europe. Uh, but so these are some of our three uh, top regions, uh, US, Japan, and Southeast Asia. Uh, we have been operating for the past uh, uh, few years, uh, six, seven years, and have actually invested a lot in Indonesia uh, as well. So this is our global uh, coverage presence. Uh, we have uh, seven offices worldwide uh, and presence in nine different countries. So when we say global VC, we're not just investing in the US and one other country, but we indeed mean global in a sense that we cover each and every region with not only having a physical office, but having presence of the team members dispatched. They look at interesting companies. They look at how we can also further impact the ecosystem there. But diving into Indonesia a little bit, uh, we have invested more than 40 companies uh, in Southeast Asia, majority of them being in Indonesia. 
Uh, you, you probably know a lot of these uh, companies, for example, Tech in Asia, Allo Doctor, um, Pomelo, Talenta. I'm sure you guys have come across these names or even uh, have used their service before. Uh, and thus far, we've had great uh, experience uh, with uh, our investments in Southeast Asia. For example, Bright Story was recently announced uh, that they got acquired by Tokopedia, and we have uh, some of these other examples that you see on the screen. So we are more motivated than ever before um, to try to focus a lot of our efforts in the region and to support the Indonesia startup ecosystem growth. Uh, because, again, with our portfolio companies, we've been seeing great traction, great uh, experience, uh, great interest from the uh, global corporations as well. So these, uh, these are only some of the companies that we're seeing, in, but in terms of uh, multiples, they've been uh, great uh, for investment. Uh, and again, why are we doing great investments? Uh, because it's, it doesn't end in investments. We try to also bring in value and help grow the companies together so that uh, it, we create win-win-win synergetic opportunities between the startup, the corporation, and then, of course, Pegasus. So I mentioned that we're more excited than ever to try to uh, help uh, the impact uh, of, uh, with the growth of uh, the Southeast Asia, especially the Indonesia startup ecosystem, which is why I'm here to uh, hopefully talk to all of you guys. Uh, so in terms of our commitment, we have um, three commitments. Uh, we will continue to be investing, obviously, uh, but instead of just capital, we plan to do also smart capital, money plus something else, capital plus advice, capital plus partnership. So I'm excited for the first time uh, in the region, uh, we're announcing the, the, the growth fund that we raised, it's $1 billion USD, $1 billion. So, uh, and we've already invested into companies uh, that are global scale, uh, very famous. Uh, for example, Bird, uh, which is in the uh, shared mobility space, SoFi in the, in the fi financing space, 23andMe in the health IT space. But we're not looking at only the US, as you may have noticed. We've also done Paytam uh, and, and DJI. So now we're hoping to replicate this model into the Southeast Asia, especially into Indonesia. So our plan going down the, uh, down the line is that we will be focusing on uh, three sort of main stages. Uh, early stage with the seed investments. Uh, so we plan to do a lot of uh, new pipeline, new seed deals. Uh, we're always excited to talk to entrepreneurs that are uh, disrupting their uh, industries or have uh, solutions for the common problems for the Indonesian market. And then after that, we'll be looking into the Series A and Series B, where we will all already be also considering our own portfolio companies, as well as all of the new deals that uh, new, new companies that have uh, grown to that level that we have not maybe uh, talked to in the, in the past, but still uh, considering for um, investment again, plus investment, we, we try to add in the corporate partnership network. Uh, with, uh, with the 34 large corporations. And then, of course, the growth stage. Uh, I was here actually since uh, Monday, so yesterday, and I had uh, at least like 10 meetings, uh, some of these with uh, the, global, uh, the Indonesian top unicorn companies, and we're all already evaluating uh, whether we can help uh, with the investment and, of course, adding in the, the partnership model that we have been discussing. And then, of course, all of the new all the portfolio companies and new portfolio companies we will be uh, uh, evaluating for uh, future growth uh, continuously until we have exit and even after exit. And then the second point is we've actually done this already. We have accumulated a lot of knowledge uh, in the startup, the growth, the business, entrepreneurship, success uh, over many years. Uh, and our founder and CEO, Anna Swissman, has already actually launched a book He's launched many books uh, about startup, uh, startup and entrepreneurship and success. It uh, became number one uh, seller in Japan. And so we have uh, also put some examples and uh, put together the uh, book called Startupedia, which is already in the market. You, I don't know if uh, any of you guys have already read it, but this is a great source uh, of how we as global investors are viewing the, the local ecosystem, the startup, and how startups can successfully grow uh, talking about how to build a team, talking about how to uh, evaluate market analysis, things like that. So that's the second point. And then finally, we want to make sure that Southeast Asia, especially Indonesia, gets a lot of attention. Uh, we've already heard uh, earlier in the day about how fast the, the region is growing. 
or how much potential the, the region has. So we want to make sure that not just us as Pegasus, but globally all the entrepreneurs uh, as well, all the large corporations, all the investors that are in our network are also paying attention to the region. So with that, uh, we have uh, an event uh, coming up later today as well, but uh, Pegasus is a sponsor and organizer of a global event called Startup World Cup. It's the, large one, uh, it's the world's one of the largest startup pitch competitions offering $1 million in investment prize. Uh, and we're going this time in 50 plus countries, um, picking the regional representing startup, bringing them all to San Francisco for a day long conference and um, determining in front of the top judges uh, from Silicon Valley who's going to take the million dollar investment. But it's not just about the investment. We want to make sure that the startups participating get a lot of the uh, global media exposure uh, coverage, also exposure to the corporate par uh, corporations that are open and interested in partnership opportunities with these uh, startups from all around the world. Some high level numbers, we uh, start a block up on a yearly basis. We get about 50,000 uh, attendees. We have uh, over a thousand speakers. Uh, coming into our uh, events all around the world. Uh, we have plus 200 uh, plus media that are covering and attending the event. And then again, as I mentioned, we are going and traveling to 50 plus countries uh, physically and hosting uh, regional pitch competitions. And so again, as I mentioned, uh, all the regional winning companies are going to uh, come to Silicon Valley and we're going to put them in a, on a stage in front of many investors, many corporations, many business development uh, professionals, many consultants, many lawyers, accountants, etc., to help them with U.S. expansion or other country expansion, take to the next level corporate partnerships. So, so we are always thinking it's not about the investment and being done. It's always about something else that we can do on top. In fact, Storable Cup uh, has, Southeast Asia been, has been pretty dominant in, in the Storable Cup. So uh, Ali Jasa, a company from Indonesia, won the regional competition two years ago, and then they became number three at the global level. So everybody uh, is seeing these, uh, these top companies and noticed that Ali Jasa has great potential. So, and then actually this May 2019 cycle, we've had the global champion from uh, uh, Abby, a company called Abivin from Vietnam. And I know Indonesia has uh, great potential. I'm, I'm hoping to see a lot of exciting companies today uh, and hope to give more uh, global coverage uh, at the Star Cup Grand Finale. And today, whoever becomes the winner later today in the afternoon around 2 p.m., we are also giving not just the ticket to the uh, Grand Finale uh, and, and the participation right, but we are also going to be investing $100,000 USD to the, the Indonesia champion today. So I know that we have a lot of entrepreneurs. Uh, and even if you're not an entrepreneur, uh, I know that we have a lot of media people, the corporate people, the government people. We're always interested in building the ecosystem and helping the uh, ecosystem growth. So this is not my personal email. Uh, we do have a Southeast Asia regional manager, my colleague, uh, Justin Jackson. But if you are um, one of the participants and if you're interested in how we can uh, collaborate in growing the ecosystem together, please go ahead and reach out to Justin. He'll be more than happy to talk uh, and figure out how we can all benefit uh, and from the growth of the ecosystem and how we can all contribute and give back to the Indonesian startup ecosystem as well. So that's all from me. Thank you very much. Uh, hope to see you all at Star World Cup also.